Uh, hello there people and sort of a good morning this is Mr. Critic and you're watching my LP of Panzer General Cobra part 14 Axis turn 13 um, now first I have to apologize I did not record another video yesterday uh, Friday and that not because of you know hangover fr from Thursday uh, reception, but um, and I'm not joking now. I, I got uh, run over by a car yesterday uh, when I was riding my bike. You know, um, uh, well, the driver just didn't see me. You know, and um, sort of swept uh, <laughs> my bike under me. You know, from the right side and. I was doing, you know, all the sort of backflips over <laughs> the car. Uh, probably at some point, you know, I was saying to the guy, you know, hello through the wind, uh, not the windshield, but the the front uh, window of a car, you know. Um, and then I landed on my feet, you know. I'm like a cat, even though kind of a well not fat but you know kind of an overweight cat but I'm still a cat so yeah so I spent yesterday like five hours in the ER uh, sounds worse than really is because most of the t uh, most of this time I was waiting you know because I was not considered an urgent matter well I wasn't you know I was standing everything only my right arm hurt like hell uh, still does but it's manageable and then they took some x-ray pictures nothing is broken so cuts and bruises you know mm. that's all I've got and I don't know uh, <laughs> and I cannot even you know hate the guy because other from than that that he <laughs> that he brought me down you know uh, on my bike he was a really nice person you know asking uh, are you all right? Uh, can I help you? Can I drive you somewhere? Uh, you know, gave me all his personal, you know, data information. The promise to pay, you know, for the repair of my bike and everything. You know, so really nice person, you know. But I don't know how could he not see me? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm a big, I'm a big guy on on a big bike. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, um, but then I remembered also, you know, the joke about, uh, that George Carlin was making, if you run somebody over, uh, don't wait, just, you know, move on, uh, don't go there asking, are you alright? Well, of course they're not alright, look at all the blood, you know, <laughs> um, it was a funny joke, uh, when it was about other people but even now that I was on the receiving end I still think it's funny um, so yes yeah, somebody wanted to assassinate yours truly uh, Mr. Critic in order not to finish Cobra I think uh, especially because you know my right arm my mouse arm was under attack um, I think it I think it was you know a sabotage at least um, so but you know I'm too tough and with the help of some minor, but I mean minor painkillers, I do not believe, you know, in those strong, strong ones that make you, you know, really drowsy. Um, I'm doing this LP for you. So, um, yeah. Uh, now I will take a little pause, of course, just wanted to tell you this, and then we will focus on the battlefield. Um, yeah, this is, this is it. Um, I actually... I feel lucky, you know, it, it could have ended much worse, uh, you know, if you would see my bike, uh, you would think that I would be at least, you know, um, at least have some broken bones, but I guess, I don't know, I guess I'm built, you know, like a pickup truck myself, uh, and uh, I have to tell you, uh, if something good came from training martial arts for me regarding this case is I've learned how to fall uh, kept my head up you know rolled over my back uh, stopped the main force of the impact with my arm this is why it hurts so bad 
didn't hit anything with my head, which is good because I'm stupid and I do not wear a helmet. Uh, and now I will reconsider this, I tell you actually. Uh, even though, you know, I trust in my abilities, but if this guy was going, I don't know, a little bit faster, who knows. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm alive. Or I'm alive. Zombie Mr. Critic. Um, and we continue after a short pause. Okay, I'm back. I'm ready. And one other good thing. Now, if I make a mistake, you know, do something really stupid, I can blame it on the accident. <laughs> what? This is Panzer General? I thought I was playing Doom 2. What? This is a tactical bomber? I thought it was an infantry. <laughs> anyway, weather, fair and dry. Casualties uh, going our way, but now <laughs> here should be, you know, uh, infantry <laughs> on, on a bike, you know, one casualty on our side. <laughs> at least you know one suppressed because I got suppressed yesterday <laughs> oh, it's so good to laugh about it you know uh, now that everything is fine uh, okay uh, now really it's time to get serious here in the south the enemy is making a stand uh, and we like it since now our heavies can do the job um, nothing is bothering our JP elephant good uh, here the enemy has started attacking our Panthers and this is not really good because um, this bloody typhoon and lightning did quite a lot of damage uh, however air war is going our way and we will try to destroy as many airplanes uh, north of our defensive circle and then hopefully win the air war once and for all also around Carentan we have a lightning that did a lot of damage to our Panzer 4J so we'll t it will take w at least one more turn for us you know to take over Carentan I was also thinking what to do with this inf. It is entrenched in a bocage, uh, which is restricted terrain. Um, yeah, this is another problem. And uh, what else? I think I am forgetting something. Ah, yeah, here. Um, with this anti-aircraft, we can only reach um, Typhoon and Lightning, nothing else. And then it will be exposed to either artillery fire or one at least one of these two tanks so not going perfectly not going that bad priority targets first we'll deal with this thunderbolt wonderful we move closer <coughs> Now do we employ our anti-aircraft or do we save it for this mosquito? Perhaps this can wait since first we can attack this lightning. Yeah. Well, you cannot get lucky every time, so not really a problem. We can move here, I think. We'll have to retreat our artilleries, since this air defense will be out of ammo on the next turn. And I think it was a wise choice. So. Let us retreat them first, you know, just in case. Make them luring targets for the surviving 
Just let me check something. Uh, perhaps if we can push, yeah, perhaps we have some use for um, this artillery. If we can push the bridge engineers here, which I would very much like to do. Entrenchment of two. Was thinking really a lot about what to do with these engineers, and since this tank only has fuel of five and wouldn't do much good around um, Avrange, um, perhaps. Now, why am I am doing this? Because. Um, I want to bring our tiger to here and then one, two, three, four attack finally this anti tank, um, the American one. And I don't want any unit to interfere. Um, so, first, we'll move our tank and then we'll block the axis. Since if we attack here, it won't go our way. But maybe with these engineers it will. So it is risky, but we need to destroy them. Excellent, no ragged defense. And wow, such a great result. Wonderful. What happens if we attack with our inf? 3 0, so. No result. <coughs> we have two units remaining to reach um, bridge engineers. Even though it is tempting, you know, to use our reckon for the job first, um, I'm leaning, you know, towards using Panther D first. <coughs> and then place it in woods so it will have at least some uh, some protection and it will requi require fuel anyway uh, so one or two doesn't really make a difference only three? wow restricted terrain really works for for the imps we have fired first again ah shit This was the sound of my bones, you know. Good old bones, all, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm making jokes today, but <laughs> yesterday it was so fucking scary, you know. <laughs> I, was, I was... Actually, I was in the air for, for a moment or two, flying, you know. <laughs> Landing on my feet. Still don't know how I pulled it off, you know, but... Okay, enough of my problems, you know. <laughs> okay, we'll have to attack again. We do not have a choice. Um, one four, it says. Well, sure. If it is one four, of course. In the end, come on. Ah, he has fired first. Shit. Come on, kill him. No. No! Bastard. Still four ammo remaining. What happens if we attack... 1-0. No result. So now he cannot escape us, but we do not have a unit available to destroy it. Perhaps if we use our other Reckon, but I'm not just sure. I'm not yet sure about this. So, okay, now we'll attack this tank. Uh, yeah, it will be risky, most definitely, but we have to finish this scenario. Uh, and the only way to do it is to destroy what is left of the American ground and air force. So, attack. 
Ah, fighting at the same time. Damn it! Ouch! Ouch! This was bad. Really bad, actually. But here is the uh, the, 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 the typhoon. And if we attack it with anti-aircraft and finish it off with our fighter, this tank will have at least air protection. If we move it anywhere else, it will be without air protection, but also nobody will be able to reach it from the ground. So what is more important? Well, I guess we can go for both things. We can move it here. Okay. And now let us attack this tank again. Uh, uh, hmm. Movement of five for this guy. I'm positive so one two three four five if we go here we are still in range so okay we'll go here actually yeah yeah this is probably the best place and attack this tank again now please fire first Otherwise, you know. Yes. Excellent. But such a shitty result. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. Now we'll sacrifice this anti-aircraft. And attack this typhoon. Strength of six remaining. Was hoping for a better result. And now I need a little pause to study other parts of the battlefield to, you know, to get organized. <laughs> and be right back. Oh, um, first we have to save, of course. Of course. So it's Cobra 016. Ouch, it's difficult to type easy to use a mouse uh, but to click enter I used my right arm and oh not good not good okay little pause be right back okay uh, welcome back to my LP of Warcraft 3 <laughs> yeah I will joke about it you know at least <laughs> through this video uh, yeah first I think we should deal uh, with the units here and I think we can destroy them all so first we'll attack this artillery oh so low on fuel yeah it cannot really be helped so come on ah don't give me that shit, you know. Oh, bloody hell. So we need to attack this weak tank. Come on. Firing at the same time because of the restricted terrain. However, no damage for us, a lot of damage for the enemy. Okay, so now we'll destroy this tank with our... Ah, I was hoping I could reach... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8? Why not? 
tree. Ah, forest counts for tree for all units? No, uh, for reckons. Uh, tanks only to. Oh, okay. You know, the problem is I'm not actually using reckons, you know, in a campaign, so I don't know much about them. Ah, uh, yeah. Now what? Hmm. I think this artillery is weakened enough for us to attack this tank. Oh, on the other hand, you know why risk it? Uh, well, I don't know. Let us attack first, then worry about it. But it means that we will push this art, um, this tank, sorry, not this artillery, into the woods and um, this is really not going my way. <laughs> I was hoping, you know, for complete destruction of these units, taking over vic uh, non-victory objectives, and uh, guess not, you know. Um, If we, you, you know, if somebody is stationed here, it will actually block the approach of our panther if we try to place it here. And I don't know, really. Pa, 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 pa. Mm. Mm, yeah. Okay, first we'll destroy this unit and then take over this non-victory objective. Um, come on. Bastard. Here. Ah, now we see two tanks, one weak. One pretty powerful. Uh, yeah. So. So. We'll have to destroy this artillery. That's an obvious thing to do. Please die. Finally, and now we attack this very decent American tank and take over a non-victory objective since there are no infantry in the area. Uh, our reckon is very useful, you know, um, you know, to find enemy units. Firing at the same time, but Tiger 2s are are basically indestructible in the open terrain. So, another non-victory objective is ours. Mm, now what? Even though, you know, it's tempting just to destroy this tank, there is an artillery in a transport here, and it will attack our Reckon, since it is seen. So, Let us first deal with the tank to make sure it's gone. Yeah, to make sure it's gone. Minor damage. Panther G does just does doesn't have you know. Um, the armor, the protection of pa uh, of Tiger 2. And now we'll at least start, you know, working on um, this artillery. So, attack. Okay. 
firing at the same time. Some good luck for this artillery, but at least no rugged defense. So uh, the artillery will be gone on the next turn. Time to save again. Cobra 016. Now I was smart enough to use my, you know, my left arm. <laughs> uh, what to do with you? Ah, what to do with uh, Nashorn? Out of ammo, so fuel and ammo. No elite replacements. We'll need it probably. Um, we'll need, you know, prestige for something else. If we attack this tank, 2-2, two, two, no good. So I guess the game decided for us. We'll attack these bridge engineers. Now please destroy them. Finally, this calls for a celebration. So Congratulations and celebrations. <laughs> this is just, you know, painkiller stocking. <laughs> I suppose some good scotch would also do the job, you know, but since they don't mix and I don't know if I will require because the doctor told me that Perhaps the pain will um, become more intense in the next couple of days, so I'll have to stay sober. But nobody told me not to smoke, so, you know. <laughs> okay, what to do with you? Well, this anti-tank... Uh, anti-tank... This Reckon was purchased for specific purpose to take back the non-victory objectives and get prestige so spotting of four let us check if somebody is hiding no i thought so but never you can never be too careful so now we have another non-victory objective back in our possession so this is it for the south and this middle part here uh, what happens if we bring our fighter here? 2-6. So perhaps we will not attack, perhaps we will just park here to protect our valuable Panthers. But still we have to worry about other air units. Uh, this t -bolt being one of those. So... <coughs> Yeah, we have to destroy the T-Bolt. It is a priority target. Uh, the only fighter remaining with three stars of experience, so... Please die. Ah! Screw you. Oh, actually, wow, this is good. We have a better option. We can still use this fighter to attack somebody, but this one to attack and fly here to protect our armored units. Not a bad thing. So we only we will only use uh, uh, use lose uh, this anti aircraft. I was hoping, you know, for some very good result, but no didn't happen so this typhoon will live to see another day just let me check something else ah okay um, JP elephant you advance we'll need you here very soon uh, now We can uh, now we can attack this T bolt again, and uh, we will please destroy it. Uh, 
yes finally you can stay put now we'll deal with this um, let me check ah we can actually see you know everything because of our units so no surprises as far as enemies aircraft is concerned so now we'll destroy this level bomber and then fly to protect our um, Panthers firing at the same time you sneaky bastard but no damage to us mm. Mm, where do we go from here where do we go from here? The battle's done and we kind of won. Okay. Uh, um, this was one of my favorite shows when I was um, younger. <laughs> okay, fly here so we can protect protect all three of the enemy units. Of uh, the <laughs> enemy. Oh shit, of our uh, armored units. But if we fly here, we also prevent... Well, I don't think this Nashorn actually needs protection um, at strength of 10, so we'll fly here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is how we prevent um, this tank from getting significant elite replacements. Probably time to save again. Cobra 016. Uh, just casualties. Still rising on the enemy side. But now we'll lose uh, a unit or two. Um, especially uh, this anti aircraft is a gunner. Okay. Um, now we'll attack this light. And but before we do it, we'll bring. No, I'm still not sure. First, we'll attack this lightning. Let us see what happens. A fair result. Stay put. Or maybe move. Maybe you can move here, actually. Just let me check. Three ammo, okay. Move here. Uh -huh. Now... We'll attack the lightning again, but with which unit? One star, one star stars ha. four four well if by some miracle this works we'll have two units to attack the mosquito to air defenses Yeah, okay. Let us hope and pray for the best. Yes! Now, if we can do sufficient damage to this mosquito, we can take it out with our fighter. Otherwise, I'm really not sure what to do with this fighter. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Some good luck, please. Uh -oh. Damn it. Again? One. 
wonderful. So, one lightning, one weak speed, another lightning. Three airplanes that can actually attack our fighter. So what happens if we attack um, the mosquito? Two five. But you know, it is so tempting since if the enemy attacks, then it will be in range of it will be in range of so many air defenses, you know, and um, hmm. Yeah, yeah, we'll trade our fighter for three more enemy air units. Uh, if I would choose, you know, to play this in an extremely safe way, then I would not attack uh, this mosquito now. But, you know, um, we have to finish this scenario in, I don't know, like three, four turns and... Uh, Yeah. Yeah, sure, why not? Come on. Some good luck, please. Die, fire first. No, not you, you bastard. Ah. Now this mosquito will probably survive. Yeah, I knew it. Damn it. Oh well. 600 of prestige. I need a little pause because now I will have to decide what to purchase. Probably another fighter just in case. Cobra 016. Uh, be right back. Uh, yo, I'm back. Uh, so, uh, the question now is... Um, what to purchase. Another fighter would be useful, but I'm only wondering if it is too much, you know, since if the battle uh, here goes well, we would actually, uh, you know, um, Actually, uh, it would be better for us to have a level bomber, since we will now start attacking uh, the victory objectives held by the allies. And level bombers are good in softening up the defenses and suppressing enemy units. So, I'm really not sure. But first, we'll give a lead to the units that we can. Oh! Nothing for this guy since there are <coughs> since there are three units in its close proximity, so kind of forgot that, sorry. Um, so you'll have to move here. You can get elite expensive but you know if attacked now this anti-tank will act like an air defense so and just to mess with the enemy we can now purchase an air transport and block this mosquito <laughs> but then we'll lose another air defense uh, air transport sorry so But there is also a wicked thing to do, and I like wicked things. We can transport our unit somewhere here and then try to sneak to the Allied airfield. And this is what we'll do. 
we'll go one two three four five six seven eight or if we go here one two three four five six seven eight nine i think air transports have a movement of 10. just in case one more time one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah we'll go here excellent this inf um well we have one more air transport available so maybe now as we have discussed earlier we'll uh, retreat our artilleries this air defense is out of ammo, others are still looking pretty well. If we move our naval warfare here, one, two, it will die. No question about it. You? I don't know, you can now advance. you get ammo guarding guarding I think we can use this naval warfare for something uh, spotting of the mosquito is 3 and now the weather is fair and dry, so we'll be seen. Uh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can form some sort of a trap for enemy air units. Anybody attacking this naval warfare will be attacked by both this flag and this anti-aircraft. So perhaps they will leave, you know, our fighter alone. I can, you know, live with losing the naval warfare. Yeah, if necessary, we will survive the loss of this fighter. But naval warfare is expendable. Fighter is so-so. So we have five more units to move or to use. A lot of prestige. Hmm. What's that phrase? In for a penny, in for a pound. Think we can. Would be very useful to have a level bomber, but. Where can we purchase it? If we purchase it here, it has a movement of, let me check, um, Heinkel, the best level bomber, movement of 13. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, over Tiger 2, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah. Let's go crazy, huh? I'm sure I regret uh, my choice, but you know. But if I purchase it here, then. Nah, 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 nah. Forget about it. Um, I'm just be being, you know, silly. Um, no, the best fighter available didn't come you know this far to just you know lose now so here okay fighter let us give a lead to these guys they deserved it they were you know without lead replacements for such a long time so okay we save cobra 016 
weather for tomorrow fair and dry casualties now I expect we will lose at least one unit maybe two it's time to give the enemy its turn then finish this video and if I feel well enough I will make another one today you know sort of uh, to make up for uh, the video that wasn't recording uh, recorded yesterday otherwise tomorrow on Sunday and ouch fire first yes wonderful nice perfect under attack again fire first no do not fire the same time this is not fair our focus wolf has six six uh, uh, initiative of six while lightning only has an initiative of four so this was totally unfair but so far we have survived it looks like we have survived. Okay. Yeah, now anti-aircraft will die. Reckon. Has retreated. Bye bye, anti aircraft. Sorry. I was hoping, you know, that you will survive this. Oh well. So, one unit lost. Let me check the map. So, now we'll own. All uh, of the fighters here, all three of them, and this mosquito will also die. So yeah, probably the air war is over too. Ah, uh, this is another bug. Um, well, it's not a bug; it's actually a strategy of uh, the uh, AI. Um, if uh, the enemy unit uh, if the AI unit actually is taking over an objective, either uh, an ordinary or a victory one, it will not attack even if it can, you know. So, this tank could easily have destroyed our Recon, but it was too focused, you know, on taking over the airfield. Didn't want to risk anything. What was the risk? I'm really not sure. So, yeah. Um, the rest of the map. Oh, <laughs> somebody has recaptured the non-victory objective. Uh, was it an inf or a tank? Or I'm not sure. We'll find out uh, in the next video. Now, yeah, we have lost an anti-aircraft. Too bad. Uh, let us save Cobra 016 weather for tomorrow fair and dry ok uh, thank you for watching um, the injured uh, Mr. Critic <laughs> all the best from the injured Mr. Critic <laughs> um, and bye bye